Hey there guys, what's up, it's me here, Sandbrook, back here with a brand new video, and welcome back to the channel, where today I am reacting to the official trailer for the Umbrella Academy Season 3. And guys, I'm so excited for the show to return, it's one of my favourite shows on Netflix, and from where Season 2 left off, this looks to be a very interesting season, especially since we now have the introductions of the Sparrow Academy members, and I'm very excited to see them being brought into live action, and I'm very excited to see how the Umbrella Academy and the Sparrow Academy will coexist in this brand new timeline. Um, especially with Ben as the leader, I think that's going to be very interesting to explore as well. And just like with the comics, these also... Uh, kind of follow the distinctions of the comics. So season two followed the Dallas storyline. Season three follows the storyline of Hotel Oblivion. So I'm very excited to see uh, how um, they translated that into live action as well. But enough talking. Let's get straight into this reaction in three, two, one. This isn't your home. What are you talking about? This is the Umbrella Academy. This... It's the sparrow. Ah, they're not in silhouette anymore. I love it. Shit. <laughs> Appropriate reaction. When we jumped here, we created a time paradox. Our little paradox brought forth a freaking... Hey, Layla. What the hell is a Kuga Blitz? Essentially, we're screwed. So like every other season. Okay. Yep. Oh, yes. Oh, season three's gonna open with an epic fight scene. Let's go. Ben, right? Yeah. And he's a dickhead. <laughs> They're all dickheads. Ooh. Dickheads are good fight. Next person to say dickhead true. is getting a punch to the throat. Dickhead. Dickhead. <laughs> we caused a paradox, and that paradox is swallowing things. How long do we have? Oh, no. Maybe five days before the rest of existence is blitzed. So That's another apocalypse. A bunch of Lovely. blobs and cubes and birds and shit. <laughs> Your team is good, but I don't think you're better than me. I ended the world. Oh twice. no. And you, you're just meeting this man. Ooh. Dad didn't adopt us. Ooh, okay. Yep, there's the hotel. Existed here. So, if you ever see your other self, kill them. Sleep with them. Avoid them. What the hell is wrong with you? Oh, we're going to get. Oh, if we get other versions of them, I'm going to love it so much. Ooh. We're going to get. A new training montage of the Sparrow Academy's origins. More dancing, of course. If I kill you, do we get our Ben back? What the hell did you just <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the clash of them is gonna be amazing. What are you, their mascot? More like their ringer. Oh, no! Wait. The mum's got powers now? In this timeline? Been looking for you. <gasps> they brought Pogo back and he's wearing a biker jacket. Oh my god. I feel like each season just gets better and better and season three is looking to be chaotic and fun and that is the Umbrella Academy formula. Wow, that was amazing. So obviously, the fight scene is going to be interesting because now we have superpowered individuals against super superpowered individuals, um, and I'm very excited to see the powers of the Sparrow Academy. I know we've seen Ben's already because they've shown it, but we got a few glimpses of what the um, other powers uh, of the Sparrow Academy would be. But wow, that looks intense. Um, hi. Mm -hmm. Cut here. So my camera actually didn't die this time. My dad just brought me up a cup of tea. And it is a very good cup of tea. Thank you very much, dad. But like I was saying, season three looks very chaotic and very fun with a lot more fighting and a lot more dancing, it seems like too, which just seems to be the standard um, uh, Umbrella Academy formula. What I'm very interested to see is not just the difference in personality and powers of the Sparrow Academy compared to the Umbrella Academy, but also their upbringing. Because I feel like we're gonna get a very similar thing to season one, where we're gonna see the upbringing of the Sparrow Academy because we saw Ben doing a bit of karate. So who knows, maybe the Sparrow Academy was a bit more disciplined with their training um, and uh, just more t took it more seriously compared to our main set of heroes who just kind of grew up um, 
and just kind of went off in their separate ways. These guys actually stuck together in their adult years. So I'm very interested to see how all that plays out. And the money shot, I think, of this trailer for me personally was Layla and Victor Hardgreaves just powering up as an apocalyptic battery. That just looks so amazing. And I'm very curious to see why the hell they're powering up so much. Maybe to blow up the hotel. That'd be a very interesting visual. I think that'd be very cool. Or maybe that's just the money shot of the ending of season three when they cause another apocalyptic event. Or maybe this time they actually save the world for the better. I'm hoping it's one of the two because either one just produces any sort of um, chaotic response. And hopefully this does get a season four because I believe there are a lot more comics in this series. So hopefully we get a season four because I think season three is definitely going to be a success. And that is my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure you go down below, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell to join the Nerd Notification Squad. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.